Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop by Bezier Games, Ultimate Werewolf Legacy by Ausbatch and DeVoe. Uh, this game is going to be playing up to 9 to 16 players, takes about 60 minutes pr probably per game I suppose, per, uh, or depending on how large it is as well. And uh, ages 14 and up is about right. In the game Ultimate Werewolf Legacy, this is an, a legacy inspired game based off of Werewolf. Werewolf is a game that was originally coined Mafia and is a game of social deduction, one of the originals in fact, and where you're going to have two teams. You're going to have the werewolves and the villagers and or townsfolk. And in the game, much like Heads Up 7 Up, people are going to close their eyes during the night phase and open their eyes during the village phase. You'll be hanging people and you'll be trying to get the werewolves hung. And then at night, the werewolves are going to wake up and they're going to do their deviousness. The team that is going to win is going to determine, be determined based on the other team being eliminated. Werewolves want to turn everybody or kill everybody. And the uh, humans and or villagers want to lynch or hang all of the werewolves. Whatever side can do that is going to be whatever. But with this game, it's interesting because there is multiple rounds in the game and every round you play is going to change and you'll be using this diary here which explains uh, a bit of story as well as changing the characters changing what you're going to be getting you'll be getting different tokens and you'll be utilizing different things whether you're opening boxes or reading different uh, cue cards and whatnot it will change the way the game is played nevertheless let's go ahead and show you down below all the different components and whatnot then we'll come up and I'll actually explain the game up here and we'll talk about it and I'll give you my review so before we go any farther let me just go ahead and say that there's going to be a components reveal in the game I'm I'm not going to explain what all of it does or anything because I don't want to spoil anything, but if you do not even want to see what's in the box, then just go ahead and pick up the game and stop watching now. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and continue. I'll just show you what's in the game and then we'll talk about things that are gonna, could be happening and all that. It'll be like 99% spoiler free, but here's the components, so here we go. So this is what you're going to get in the game. It's going to come with a calendar here and or a booklet that shows all the different things that occur throughout the game. And uh, there's gonna be stickers in here and whatnot. You're going to get a big stack of cards that are going to show you the different characters and whatnot, whether they be werewolves and or humans, which have different abilities all on their own. You get a bunch of these little crucifix looking things, a big key, one of these castles, some of these sandwiches here, a couple of these hidden tokens, which I won't show you. And then these are family cards. And then there's some stuff in here as well. Quite a good amount of stuff in here for the game of werewolf when werewolf generally is just going to be a stack of cards as you can see here the, the the book is rather nice and it comes with a bunch of stories and it also has some interesting aspects in the game now we went ahead and already played a couple of these uh, games beforehand but just to give you the idea that there's stickers in the box and of course different chapters there's different chapters for all of this as well as a pack if you end up playing all of this you can go ahead and play it again but this is what it's going to come with in the game of ultimate werewolf legacy all right let's come up above and talk about the game what it's kind of like if you're interested in seeing a couple of games played you can watch our live play but anyway let's go up so without going into detail as to how to play this specific game you all have an idea of werewolf i assume like i said you're going to be playing with about eight players or more in fact eight or uh, eight is the minimum requirement for this game it'll say nine because you're going to need an additional player as a uh, as, as an instructor and or a narrator, so nine players in total, including that player. So don't forget that, because in the rule book itself, in this diary it explains eight, but that's because the person reading it is the ninth. And like I said before, this thing has a ton of content in it. It's got a bunch of different chapters and whatnot, um, and you have to write in it. You can write in it as the narrator, which I'm not going to go ahead and get into. Um, but uh, it's nice. The quality of the product is really nice and it has a little uh, page holder here which will indicate where you are throughout the game because you can pick it up and go as you please. Now, in Werewolf, the basic game, there are certain rules you can change. In fact, in my group specifically, we make house rules. This one, you cannot make house rules. You must play it as it is written because it affects gameplay. So do play it exactly as written. And as we have played it, we did notice that there are certain things we usually do that we could not do in this one because it would change the way the game is played drastically and not in a good way. Uh, there are a bunch of cards in here. And then, you know, as you see, they've got the Werewolf, the Hunter, the Mystic Seer, and the Villager. These are average cards you would see in a normal game of Werewolf. And there's some interesting ones like a Zombie and a British soldier. So there are things that are unique, in fact, and there is quite a few cards in this game. I'm looking probably maybe like 60 to 100 cards, I imagine, in the stack here. Uh, there's stuff like this thing. What's in this? Why would you want to open it? Well, there's going to be choices involved in the game. Every time you play it, there's going to be something new that is added. Maybe new characters are added. Uh, new characters, which you'll be playing as. You'll start off as nobody, and then you'll be uh, changing into different uh, people that might... Uh, involve working with one another in certain ways. You might be uh, more 
more interested in functioning with certain players as opposed to others based on the rules and variants in this game and it's all coming down to choice because with the choice is going to determine how it affects play and if you're going to play playing as maybe a specific character as you go through the game there's going to be stickers that you will add to your character's card which will also change the rules for you specifically and when you come back and play again you'll have those rules attached to you for the remainder of the game which is super cool and also you'll have different uh different pieces of cardboard that are going to involve uh helping you out or hurting you in some way. The very beginning of the game, there is a spell that you get to read. This is the one spoiler, like I said. Um, in that spell, you have the choice to read it or not. I'm not gonna tell you what it does, but that is the type of legacy aspect in this game. Everybody will have these options throughout it, as well as, of course, new characters joining the mix and a bunch of story included. So, what do I think about the game now? You have an idea of how it's played, especially if you know Werewolf, which I assume if you're watching this, you do. Uh, the quality of this is excellent. This is really, really nice, and it's it shows it's very, very showy. So placing it somewhere, I've taken a bunch of pictures with it, um, and because of that, I think it's that's really great. Uh, the different pieces of car, the different chits and stuff like that are nice and thick. They'll last a long time. The cards are are, are really high quality as well. The all the werewolf art is similar to previous werewolf games. So if you like that, you're going to like this. And there's a bunch of new characters included in this, so you can actually add these to your werewolf game. And in fact, after you get done with this, even if you don't want to buy the repack of the game, which is this is the cool thing is you can use all of these cards here to play werewolf all on its own, which is normally going to cost you like I don't know twenty. 25, 30 bucks anyway. Probably a little more because of all the extra cards here. So you get Werewolf included with this game, basically, which is pretty sweet. Um, and you could also use all the different pieces here, which is what I plan on doing after I play this game. I'll be using these for house parties and stuff like that, and I can play my own variant rules. Uh, if you're not a fan of Werewolf or deduction games, this is not going to change your mind all that much. It does give you that differentiation of every game being different and adding a story and my cameraman who's not really interested in the trader based deduction games he likes this much better than the original werewolf however I'm sure if he had to choose between this and some other work replacement he would pick that one in a heartbeat but just giving you his 10 cents on it or two cents on it uh, personally for me I I proposed my wife on werewolf so I'm a huge fan of these type of games so take my opinion lightly because I'm gonna always sing the praises of werewolf because I've enjoyed it so much over the years and this is just another nice variant with it and it's even more um excellent because it's going to give you the base game and extra cards as well as the legacy variant and it's nice quality and you can actually go ahead and make it buy a repack to play it again maybe if you're the player in, in the last campaign you can be the narrator and play with a whole bunch of new people so that you know what's going on but it does it does have its enjoyability playing as a narrator because you're going to be able to know what's going on and whatnot it feels like you're the dm of a game a campaign of werewolf and all the choices. The choices make it even more fun. Because in Werewolf, usually the choices, who do you get rid of? In this game, it provides a lot more of that. Overall, Ultimate Werewolf Legacy is a ton of fun. This game, I uh, was very excited when I heard it launched. I was there at uh, Gen Con when they were talking about it, showing it off. And I was very happy to get a copy now to show you guys. Hopefully, this has enticed you to pick the game up. If you're a Werewolf fan, this should be an instant buy. And if you are okay with trade reduction games or you enjoy trade deduction games this one's gonna be great the one caveat for me because i've like i'm like 90 percent on this the one thing is you have to have nine players to play this game and the more is better uh you can go ahead and watch us on youtube we did a live stream of this we also did it on facebook but it got taken down but if you want to see it on youtube we went ahead and played this game we played it through four rounds that'll provide some spoilers but not a full spoiler um to see if you if you're right on the fence there but if if you like these type of games Pick this up. It's fun. Really enjoy it. Werewolf Legacy. Excellent. My seal of approval. Bezier Games. Great job.